Hi, I'm Bob Trump, physical therapist. Brad Hannick, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. Well, in our opinion, of course, Bob. Brad, today we're going to talk about top three signs that you may have an ACL tear. ACL. Yeah. Okay. One of the ligaments of the knee, one of the you know four major ligaments of the mm -hmm. knee. And uh, it's usually a terrible injury. It's, right. it's usually one that's going to end your season in, in your sport. Right. And uh, let's first talk about what it is. Um, we've got, where's, you've got, where's the other rest of the leg? Oh, rid of it. Ah, there it is. So, anyway, you got the femur bone here. Oh, we lost you the patella. The patella. We got the femur, and we got the tibia. Now, these two bones come together. And Let's get the patella on there. That's the, the kneecap. We'll, we'll These two bones come together, and they're held together by four main ligaments. Right. And one of them is the ACL, and that ACL is right in here. And basically, the ACL stops this bone here from going forward like this. They call that anterior translation, yeah. but in other words, just keeps that from moving forward. So if that ligament tears, you can see how you're going to be unstable. And I'm going to show you on another model here. Here again, this would be... This is the femur bone cut off. This is the tibia bone cut off. And there is the ACL ligament right in there. Just, just so it. you guys know, this is actually the patella and the patella tendon. We just got it flipped up so you can yeah. look in there. So if this ligament right here, Brad wants to point at it. Zoom, yeah. zoom right in on there. I can come up to you even. That ligament right there, Brad. Oh yeah, right 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 point right, right in there. here, yep. Okay, if that gets torn. What's going to happen is your knee is going to feel very unstable. That it's going to slosh, slosh back and forth like this. And what can happen, you know, one, it's very difficult to participate in an athletic event. If that's mm -hmm. happening, you don't feel stable on your knee. But you can start to wear the, you know, uh, cartilage out and everything else right. inside. So. And, and the other thing, maybe we should mention, ACL stands for anterior cruciate ligament. ligament. Right. Okay. Just so people know we know what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The number one sign, you know, we're going to talk about sign, and we're going to show you two tests you can do. Right. And if we think you can do these tests. Uh, these tests are fairly easy. The first sign is quite often, it, it, these happen often without contact. Right. Um, you know, in football, Jordy Nelson of the Green Bay Packers, sorry to Green hear that, Bay Packers. Uh, he just tore his ACL, non-contact. They often, they're planting their leg, and they're, tw they're shifting. They're right. twisting, mm -hmm. and uh, that often can cause the ligament. Uh, sometimes some people are more prone based upon how the shape of their bones are. Sure. And and but quite often you hear a pop. They've even talked about people hearing the pop in the stands. <laughs> it's it's that loud. So and it, you know after that it's gonna it's gonna swell mm -hmm. most often, and also then it's gonna feel unstable when right. they when they step on right. it. So that's the number one sign. Now we're gonna show you the two tests that we think you can do. And so we're going to cut off right here. We're going to go over to the mat. Okay. Okay, Brad, the first test is going to be Lachman's test. And what you're going to do is you're going to bend the knee here at around 20 to 30 degrees. And you're going to hold the upper bone or the femur. And we're going to show it on a person too, but right now we're just showing it on Napoleon. So I'm holding, securing this bone, and now I'm pulling this one forward. That's all I'm doing is, is grabbing the, the lower leg, and I'm pulling this forward. If it's a normal knee, there's hardly going to be any movement here. Right. But if it's the ACL is torn, you're going to actually get a sloppy feeling. It's, you're going to you're going to feel it pull forward. Right. So that anterior, that we call the yeah. forward motion, and, and you'll see when we do it in a real person how that's done. Yeah. And usually we test the the person's uh, other knee first to get a feel for it. Right. Now the second test is really similar to the first, but in this case now, the femur, you put the knee at a, a 90 degree angle or a right angle. And you actually sit on the person's foot, mm -hmm. and then you get their hamstrings to relax. That's the muscles be, be, uh, behind their thigh. And you're going to kind of put one thumb here. I'll put a thumb here, too, but I won't put one right there not right now. And you're just going to try to pull, pull that bone forward. Right. It's the exact same thing. You're trying to see uh, if it's moving forward at all. If it's not, again, the, the ligament hopefully is intact. And if there is movement, then you, you may have to go have an MRI. Sure. So... Yeah, that looks let's, good. Let's show them on a person. All right, let's show them on a person. Okay, now we have a real knee here. And again, what you would want to do first is, if this is the injured knee, I would actually do the same test over here first. And that gives you a sense of what a normal movement would be. And then uh, when you compare it to the other side, you can, you can tell the difference whether or not there actually is um, you know, a ligament tear. And uh, first off, this is going to be very difficult to do someone on someone who just injured it. Mm -hmm. it. It may be even spasming. 
you probably got to ice for a while, let it calm down. Right. I mean, they have to be relaxed for this to work. Right. So you, you can't be doing this on someone who's just probably injured it two minutes ago. Right. All right, so again, the Lachman's test, you're going to first put it at around 20 to 30 degree angle. I'm going to secure the femur. I actually would normally grab here, but I'm going to, I'm going to grab here just so you can see. I'm going to secure the femur and hold it, the upper bone. And then I'm just going to go ahead and grab the, the tibia here, and I'm going to pull forward like this. And Brad, I'm glad to tell you that your your ACL seems to be intact. Can you see some translation there? Like I don't. See, I don't feel any. Okay. It's not just seeing; it's also feeling right. with your with your your fingers. Yeah. And actually, when, when I do it, I I have fingers here. I do it a little bit different than, and you probably do it too. But so you can actually palpate. Um, right. The joint line. Well, I I definitely do it with this one. Yeah. Um, and this is um, the anterior drawer test. This anterior meaning forward. Now this time you put it at a right angle, a 90 degree angle, and this is where you want the hamstrings to make sure they're relaxed. You can just feel under here to make sure they're not taut because the hamstrings come on up behind the knee here. Now this is the one where I put my thumbs up yeah. here and I'm, I'm pulling on the, 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 the tibia and I'm holding right here, holding the femur and I'm pulling forward like this. Now this one I can feel just a little bit of movement on mm -hmm. Brad. So that's why we do both tests. You can see I'm really pulling forward. Again, as you saw on the skeleton, I was pulling it this way. If there's really a big difference between the, um, one side and the other, you, you know, there's a, there's a chance you may have tore your ACL. You may have tore some other things along with it too. Sure. Because quite often the ACL doesn't get torn alone. All right, Brad, that should do it. Yeah, and uh, this is, you can try it at home, uh, but it is one of those things that <laughs> takes uh, some repetition to, to get good at it, I, I think. But you know, if it's really tore, like Bob, Bob and I were talking, if it's a big difference, um, and if it hurts, don't do it. Right, right. <laughs> if uh, the person let it up to the professionals. Right, so. right. All right. Thanks a lot.